What's up, my Lettua Army? You know what day it is? It's Tuesday. Time for another episode of your favorite Lettua show on YouTube. Welcome to Lettua Tuesday. What's up, guys? Lettua Tuesday. I'm super excited. I'm with Mehmet this week. And we're gonna show you uh, uh, elbow technique, a variation of what I like to do in a fight. So this one is, uh, you know, you've seen in my fights, maybe we can, uh, we can show a little clip when I, I did it. Uh, basically, I like to do uh, a skip step elbow. So elbow, I like, you know, the push, and then I would lift and come down, boom, with the elbow. And when you land with momentum, it's really, really brutal. So I'll do one more time. I lift my knee. All your power, all your momentum goes into that elbow. So I like, you know, to push this, then I fake the knee up, fake. How does that feel, man? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> if he says that's good, that means it's good. But now we're going to do something else. So if if we miss the elbow, or if we we want to play with his brain a little bit, so I'm going to fake my knee, right, and then I'm going to whoop, miss this one. So, and I'm gonna go for the liver. Oh, liver shot. So maybe it's gonna drop his hand a little bit or make him block, it's gonna make him think. So let's say he's blocking the elbow, right? I, I'm coming up. Even if he blocks it, he's gonna feel it. He's gonna remember the pain. He's gonna remember the, the, the intensity of that elbow. So next time, he's, I'm coming up with a fake knee or something, coming with the elbow, he's gonna block. I miss it. Boom, in the liver. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna block. It's gonna make him react, make him think. From here, I can go back for a quick uppercut, oh, right? So one, two, that which sets up my big elbow. So I would do miss, one, two, three. That's a very good one. You're playing in the, in the pocket. That's where the magic happens, inside like this. Or I can just go high, low, and come back high. Let me show you. So I'm coming up. I miss, whoop, one, and then I'm already ready. Understand? So there's two variations of this one. Both very effective, both very good. And that's always good to change your card a little bit so it doesn't expect the same thing. But like you see in my fights, sometimes it's good to, to master, actually most of the time it's good to master uh, one technique very well to be able to land it very often and very powerfully than to just know a little bit of many techniques. You know, Bruce Lee said it well, you know, you better to learn one kick very good than to know 10,000 kicks very bad. So same thing for the elbows, that's where it is. Why we like the elbows? Well, you must know by now that it's because it's way harder to, to break your elbow when you land on your opponent than to break your knuckles and barnacle fighting, and barnacle that way, right? So uh, be careful on this, have fun. You can do it on a bag alone or you can do it with a partner. Let's show you something. So, um, normal, normal. <laughs> Deliver. Finish. Pain? Oh, blue. Yeah. Blue. Oh shit. <laughs> You're the fucking best. <laughs> the blue, it's like a bruise. So that's what it is for this week's Letter Tuesday, guys. We did some uh, elbow variation. Uh, you've seen this technique many times in my fights. I love it because, again, if you uh, if people come in, you know, from a kickboxing background, a Muay Thai background, or, or a boxing background, they come in and try to punch in left way without the glove, and they, you know they, they hit the forehead, they hit the, the skull. A lot of the guys break their hands. I've seen countless foreigners after a Letway fight in Myanmar or around the world in Japan, they come back and their hands are smashed. You don't want to be that guy if ever you fight Letway, or even if you fight in the street, right? If you hit the skull with no gloves or bare knuckle, you might break your hands. It's very soft. Uh, very small bones. A lot of my friends that fought in, in street fights are like, 
man, I, I did okay, but I broke my hand, right? You don't, you don't want to be like that. So you either go back to the playlist. Uh, you see, uh, I, I did a video years ago on how to build your hands for Litway. Again, one of my ways to avoid that completely is to use the big powerful elbow. And um, so again, you can play with that, right? You can either land it, then you miss it, go for the liver, play with that program in his brain. So don't forget to repeat this one as much as you can because practice makes perfect. And I want to see you guys next week for another Technique Letter Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And please tell me in the comments what you want to see, what technique you want to see for next week. I'm super excited. I'm back, baby. See you next week.